Hello guys, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing y'all how to get mods in 2024. And so, um, before we officially get into the tutorial, I would like to say that you guys are gonna need a couple of things before y'all can officially, you know, do the tutorial, because there is a few things you need. And so, I'm just gonna list them off right now. So, the first thing you'll need is a PC. You know, you're gonna want to have some that you can run Gorilla Tag on. So even a laptop can work, right? Um, you're also gonna need um, a, a headset. You know, it can be a Quest. It can be a Valve Index. It doesn't matter. You just need a headset. Uh, you will also need Steam. Um, Steam and Steam VR. Uh, you will need the Oculus. You'll need the Meta Meta Quest app on your PC, the PC version. And you will need 20 bucks to buy Gorilla Tag because it does cost money on Steam, but it is worth it. You can get all the free mods you want, and then you can get 5,000 free shiny rocks basically. Not free, but you can get 5,000 shiny rocks along with it. So if you ask me, I think that's fair, especially with like the legal mods, like the bark mod menu. It's very worth it. And especially to be able to make quality content like this. And such as J-Man, you know, so I think it's worth it. So if you guys do have all of that, then we're going to go ahead and get right into the tutorial. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to, you know, log in or sign up for Steam. And you're just going to want to make sure that you have it downloaded and everything. And you're going to want to look up Gorilla Tag in the search bar. And as you see, it does cost 20 bucks. But the good thing is, is that when you buy Gorilla Tag, you get 5,000 Shiny Rocks. And you get all the mods that, you know, you can add on to Gorilla Tag, you know? So we're going to get to that now, but I just want to say that if you are worried about if it's worth it or not, it, it is, in my opinion. So, you know, just do the research yourself and, you know... Go from there but the next thing you're going to want to do once you do that you got gorilla tag downloaded you got steam up you're going to want to go to your search bar whatever it may be and look up monkey mod manager and as you can see i already have it looked up so you're just going to want to look up monkey mod manager download you know or just monkey mod manager and go to the first link and I also have this stuff link in the description if y'all don't want to do this, but you're just wanna, gonna go down to assets and then download it to your downloads, install it to your downloads, and we're gonna open up the folder, and then once you open it, you see here, okay, yeah, that's not good, uh, <laughs> you see here, you got plugins and utils. I'm going to get to that utilities. I'm going to get to that in a second. But when it comes to plugins, all you want to do mainly is just download um, Utila. And you just go here, install slash update. Boom. It's that simple. And uh, I don't... Okay. One thing about this is like, I know for a fact that computer interface doesn't work. So, um, I recommend, uh, going to the Girl Tag modding discord to get all your mods. And you might even just want to, like, look up, like, Utila computer interface and just get it on your own without going from here. Because it may not work. I will warn y'all about that. You know, it just kind of happens when it comes to mods and stuff like that, so... But once you get Utila, you're going to want to go to Utilities, and then Beth and X folder. And you'll see here, you got plugins, and so I'm going to open it. And as you can see, this is my plugins. And all this is for, as you can see, is you got Utila, you got all of this. And so, if you guys do want to get mods, like I said, the... Gorilla Tag Modding Discord will be linked in the description. Or you guys can go check out the videos that I've done on these two mods. If you go to the search bar, 
you can just here let me you can just look up like bark mod menu and you can find it easy like that or you got the modding discord so you got a lot of options when it comes to where you can get your mods i recommend github or the modding discord uh, I just want to clarify something. Um, GitHub is where all the mods are. Um, when it comes to the modding discord and like where I get my mods, it's all from GitHub. So no matter what, GitHub is going to be where you get the mods. But there are certain um, videos that you can find on the internet where it will take you to them without you actually having to look them up. So I just wanted to clarify that um, GitHub is the main place, but there's different ways you can get to GitHub, you know, besides just going straight to it. So I just want to clarify that, you know, um, everything that I get is from the modding discord or from GitHub. That's where you get all your mods. So you just download it like you did with, um, monkey mod manager and you just uh get the plugins folder opened and all you do you got this you can close this if you want and you just drag it into the folder so uh that's what you'll do so once you get all the mods you want in the folder and you know that they work all you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to install an update if I open monkey mod manager again you'll just hit the install and update once you put the mod in the folder so I'm not gonna mess with any of that since my stuff's already set up but that's what just what you're gonna do you know so once you got all that set up okay you're gonna want to open the MetaQuest link or the MetaQuest app and you will have to log into your meta account. And so what it will do is it will pop up like this. And so now this is a part where I'm going to have to grab my headset. So, oh, hold on. Okay. Yeah, this will pop up. And you don't even have to have it open. Whenever I say open, I mean you can minimize the tab. Uh, I just want to clarify on that. Because you do need the MetaQuest app opened in order for the quest link to work better. Unless you do use a cable, which in that case, it should be pretty easy. So, I just wanted to clarify that. As long as your device, you know, your quest, whatever it may be, is on here, then you're good. And so, as you can see, when you don't have your headset connected, it will have that notification. So, I'm going to go ahead and... Hop on girl tag and we'll continue from there. Okay, so I'm on my quest two now. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna wanna go to your settings and go to system. And as long as you have everything set up, you're just gonna go to quest link and you're gonna wanna enable that. And so once you enable that, you can even go to here and you can see here, you can launch quest link. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh personally whenever i move a lot it doesn't pop up so you're gonna want to be still and as you can see we're here uh let's see we'll go to desktop and then you go to your steam and you're gonna want to hit oculus vr mode and so once you do that you're just gonna want to you know wait and let it load up Okay, and as you can see, I'm in Gorilla Tag, and though it does not give me a chance to turn into mod, like a modded game mode, Utila did not work for me when I got in the game, um, so I just want to clarify that the cut in this footage is because I f was figuring that out, and so um, I'm just gonna continue the footage now and let me explain so uh yeah we're gonna cut to the footage now um during new updates you might have bugs that you know the mods don't exactly work so what i recommend is that you um oh i'll have a um a channel linked in the description and he has made like 
um, like tutorials on how to fix your mods if they are broken or if it doesn't work and like new updates so I recommend checking him out so I'll have his channel linked in the description um, but for now that's gonna be it um, <laughs> so if I do find a way like I said to fix Utila I will let you guys know but for now that's gonna be it for the video so i hope this was helpful other than that this is gonna be the end of the video so i'll see y'all in the next video and yeah peace